So hey guys, the 2015 Oscar nominations are here, and I wanted to give you a quick little video, it probably won't be quick, it'll probably be pretty long actually, of basically my thoughts about this year's Oscar nominations. The Film Academy finally released, you know, what the nominations were for, you know, late February, early March, or whenever the Oscar ceremony is actually going to happen. Um, and so this video, like I said, it's all about my thoughts on what got nominated, what might win at the Academy Awards when that happens later this year. So I'll give you a little quick little predictions of what I think of who might win and things like that. But also more importantly, you know, what are my overall thoughts? What am I happy with? What am I not so happy with? And things of that nature. So to get things started, uh, obviously, with everybody wants to know Best Picture right away. Everybody wants to know, you know, what got nominated, what films are quote unquote the best films of the year. Um, believe it or not, I have seen a good majority of these, and some of these I'm kind of not too shocked are nominated just because I heard a lot of buzz about them. They got really good reviews, heard a lot of people saying really good things about some of these ones. So none of these kind of come as a shock as far as, you know, getting nominated. Uh, but the one I'm most happy with, and for those who saw my review of this film, you'll probably already know about it. Uh, I'm most happy with, uh, Boyhood winning, um, Boyhood getting nominated for Best Picture. I just really like that film a lot. Richard Linklater spent a ton of years of work on this film. Um, just a lot of, you know, I'm just really happy that this film got nominated. And I'm really hoping it actually wins the Oscars this year, to tell you the truth. Uh, just a lot of work went into it with some great performances, some great writing, some really, you know, neat in-depth analysis of our, our current society and, you know, society at the times that these certain years take place. And, uh, just, you know, us growing up as people and us, you know, growing up with siblings and parents and going through divorces and marriages. And it, the film covers all that stuff and it's just really, really well done. And once again, just really happy that it got a Best Picture nomination. It really does deserve the award if it does so happen to get it at this year's Oscars. Then the next thing I wanted to bring up, it's actually a negative thing. Um, I want to go down. I actually have the list of nominations in front of me here. Um, here we go. Um, I'm the least happy with the uh, Best Animated Features nominations this year. Um, I'm really disappointed that the Lego movie didn't get nominated at all. Um, you know, as soon as I saw that film, I'm like, that's the best animated film I'm probably going to see all year around for 2014. And it was, it ended up being one of the best animated films I saw that year. Didn't get a nomination at all. Um, I think it did like when, I think it got nominated for like best original song for everything is awesome. But I mean, there really wasn't a lot of original songs this year, I guess you could say. Um, but like, I really wanted that to win best animated feature if it got nominated and it didn't even get that nomination. Um, and I'm just not happy with that got nominated. I mean, box trolls, how to train your dragon too. It's just like, and then I haven't even seen song of the sea. Haven't even seen tale of princess Kugajuawawa or whatever that is. And, um, you know, I liked big hero six, but I certainly wouldn't give it best animated feature. No way. Um, so just really not happy that Lego movie didn't get nominated. It really was an amazing animated film. Um, and just Phil Lord and Chris Miller really deserve a lot more attention for, for it. I thought, uh, it just really brought back, you know, the spirit of Lego toys and it's just a really well-made film that just surprised everybody. And it's really too bad that it didn't get nominated for best animated feature. It just really deserves it. Uh, but to go back to, you know, other nominations, uh, another thing I'm actually very happy with, and I'm really hoping this woman wins this award, she really deserves it, is um, Rosamund Pike for her performance in Gone Girl. Um, it's for actress in a leading role. Really deserves this um, nomination. That's really saying a lot because Marion Cotillard, I guess, got nominated this year for a film I actually didn't even see. Uh, but I love Marion Cotillard, but I gotta say, Rosamund Pike's performance in Gone Girl was, you know, knock out of the park amazing um really deserves the award um uh, you know ever since i saw gone girl i actually saw it twice in the theater um uh, i really want rosamund pike to win this award she really nailed it this in this role for this film um i really hope the film academy gives her the award um and then the next really the next thing i'm actually really happy with is uh best i think it's original score yeah best original score for music and that's Hans Zimmer for Interstellar. 
I love the score for Interstellar. The teaser trailer had amazing music. The trailers did. The movie did. Um, and I just love Hans Zimmer. He really, the man needs more attention. I, he has a huge fan base. His score for Interstellar was amazing. Please give him the award for best original score. He really deserves it. Um, I love the score for Interstellar, and I just really hope he wins the award for this. Then that goes to my next negative point. I really wanted Interstellar to get nominated for Best Picture. I'm not saying it had to win, but I think getting it nominated was was well worth it. Um, I think I'm looking here back at the Best Picture nominations. You know, I liked Grand Budapest Hotel, but let's face it, that wasn't the best film of the year. I think Interstellar could have taken grand budapest hotels nomination i think that the two of them could have switched to be honest grand budapest hotel is nominated for tons of other stuff here it seems it looks like um interstellar really deserved its moment in nominations for best picture and it's really too bad that grand budapest got, hotel got it and not interstellar so i'm not too happy about that uh but the next thing i'm happy with is so you can kind of see that's a kind of a mixed bag of thoughts for me for this year a lot of things i really like and a lot of things i don't really care for too much um i'm really happy that both michael keaton got a best actor nomination for birdman and i'm also really happy that ready redmayne got a nomination for the theory of everything both of them definitely deserve the award if either one of them wins it i'll be happy um i like steve carell and foxcatcher i don't think he quite deserves the award to be honest um i've heard bradley cooper and benedict cumberbatch are both good in their films for the films that they got nominated for uh, but I doubt it's better than what Michael Keaton and what Eddie Redmayne did for their films. Um, just really great performances. Eddie Redmayne, you really got sold but to the fact that he was Stephen Hawking in the movie. He really looked like him and sounded like him and everything. Uh, and then same with Michael Keaton for Birdman. He just turned into that character. His role as Batman alone really prepped him for the role really well. Um, so I'm happy that both Michael Keaton and Eddie Redmayne are getting noticed for their acting talents this year. Um, the next thing I'm not happy about, and this has actually came up a couple of other years as well, uh, and this woman just really needs to go away. Um, and I, I think the Film Academy just loves her too much, to be honest. I, I really am not happy that Meryl Streep got another nomination. Okay, l let me let me st say something quick, too. Meryl Streep is a good actress, okay? I think she's a good actress. I think she's getting nominated way too goddamn much, though. Uh, and so, you know, part of my French, but I mean, she really is just, she can star in a film called Poop and she'll still get nominated. It's just like, when, can we just have one year where she doesn't get nominated for anything? And it's just like, her role in Into the Woods was just so cartoony and it was just, you could definitely tell it was not her best role at all. I'm just, I don't want her to get nominated again. I, I really, you know, she's been nominated plenty of times. She got her award for Iron Lady Let's give the nomination to someone else for once. I, I'm sick of seeing her name show up for every single year at the Oscars, whether it's a terrible film or a great film. Let's just stop nominating Meryl Streep. You know, she's a good actress, but let's stop nominating her for, for every goddamn film she's in. I, I'm really getting sick of this. It's really... Whoever keeps doing this at the Oscars, please stop. I'm really sick of her getting nominated for every single role she's in. So, so get back to a positive note. But like I said, just please, let's give that fifth spot to someone else just for once. Um, and then my next positive thing is that I loved all the visual effects nominations this year for Best Visual Effects. Um, let's see here. Let me go back down. Like I said, I have the page in front of me here, so I wanted to bring that back up. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm happy with all these things. I love all these films that made it to the list. Captain America 2 got nominated. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes got nominated. Guardians of the Galaxy got nominated. Interstellar got nominated. And one of my all-time favorite films of 2014, also got nominated. X-Men Days of Future Past. Thank you, Film Academy. You finally did a whole category where every single film you nominated, I'm happy with. Thank you for doing that. Um, and that's probably, you know, that's pretty up there with Boyhood getting nominated for Best Picture, to be honest. I'm, I'm happy with every five films that you've nominated here for Best Visual Effects. All five of those films deserve the nomination. Any of those films win, I'll be happy. If I had to choose one, I would definitely say Days of Future Past, because that seems like it's the only nomination it had. Um, or Interstellar. Both those films just really deserve the nomination. And hey, 
you know, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes had amazing visual effects too. And, and that, that goes to say too, you know, Captain America 2 and Guardians of the Galaxy also had great visual effects. So great list of nominations. That's probably out of all the categories, I would say, where every, you know, where I had to judge it on every no thing that got nominated, best visual effects definitely got, you know, my, my choices as well for that. And then for the final part of this video, because I know we're kind of late into this thing, um, I want to give you kind of my quick thoughts on some of these, especially some of the major categories of what I think the Film Academy is more than likely going to choose, knowing that, you know, what they like to go with and stuff. For Best Picture, they'll probably choose Selma. They, they love Martin Luther King Jr., you know, they love civil rights movies and just, you know, historical biopics of any kind. So, love to see Boyhood win. I hope it wins. But knowing the Film Academy, they love their historical biopics. They're probably going to go with Selma more than likely. And I heard, you know, people just praising it left and right, you know, with, with the Martin Luther King film finally being made and everything. For Best Director, um, they're probably going to go with um, the guy who did Birdman. I think Babel, I think he won something for Babel back when that came out. So the Alejandre, whatever your last name is. He'll probably get not, uh, you know, he'll probably win that award for best director. For best actor in a leading role, they're probably going to go with either Steve Carell or Eddie Redmayne, uh, just because the two of them had to do something really daring for their roles. I uh, would love to see either Michael Keaton or Eddie Redmayne get it, but they're probably going to go with either Steve Carell or Eddie Redmayne more than likely. For best actress, um, I really hope once again it's Rosamund Pike. But knowing the Film Academy, they're probably going to go with um, either Reese Witherspoon for Wild or hopefully Rosamund Pike, like my choice was. Um, I know they love Reese Witherspoon. I think she, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I think she did win something for Walk the Line, so that's probably why she's going to win again. Uh, actor in a supporting role. Um, I did hear great things about J.K. Simmons and Whiplash, so it sounds like a lot of people want him to win. It sounds like Whiplash was a really good film anyway. Um more than likely, J.K. Simmons will probably win. Um, and for me personally, for this category, uh, maybe Ethan Hawke for Boyhood. Um, but at the same time, if Mark Ruffalo or Edward Norton or even Robert Duvall or J.K. If any of these five people win, I'm, I'm okay with it. All these all these nominations I'm fine with. Uh, even though I didn't see Whiplash, like I said, I, I love J.K. Simmons as an actor, though, and I'm sure his role in Whiplash is very good. Um Actress in a leading role, uh, played priest, played a god. It's not Meryl Streep. Uh, they'll probably go choose her anyway because you know people were shot that she get one for um, Iron Lady back when that came out. Uh, for me personally, uh, you know I liked Emma Stone and Birdman, but I don't think she really deserves the award. Uh, I'd probably go with Patricia Arquette for Boyhood just because I love the film and her performance really was very good in it. And it was kind of neat to see her age in the film, just like with Ethan Hawke. So I would I would personally say Patricia Arquette for me personally. But like I said, knowing the Film Academy's love for Meryl Streep, they'll probably just give it to her. Uh, foreign language film, didn't see any of those. So I don't know what the Film Academy is going to go with for those. Best animated feature is probably going to be How to Drain Your Dragon 2. So I think that's won the Golden Globe, I think. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're running late here with the video. So, um, overall guys, like I said, mixed bag of thoughts for me for the film Academy for this year. Um, I'm happy and disappointed at the same time, but that goes for a lot of Oscar nominations years. I apologize that there's a little bit of language in here. It just, as you can see, I have some very strong opinions on some of the stuff that they do here at the film Academy and what they do for the Oscars and stuff. So, um, hope to see you guys here for a future video. Um, let me know down below what your thoughts were about this year's Oscar nominations and, um, hope you enjoyed my thoughts on this year's nominations as well.